All right, uh, Ron, here's a question from uh, Didi. She said, what position does Ron take regarding cessationism versus the charismatic movement? Can you explain what that is just for our listeners as well? Well, yes, there are uh, some people who believe that the uh, sign gifts, and in particular I'm talking about uh, uh, speaking in tongues and the gift of healing and, you know, some of those kind of things as uh, being only for the first century and have since passed away. Those are no longer evident. And the idea is, is that during the New Testament era, that was a time of revelation from God. And so special sign gifts became necessary. And then once the revelation was complete, that is to say, once the New Testament was complete, then those gifts were no longer necessary. And by contrast, there are others who say that the spiritual gifts did not pass away in the first century, but rather they last for uh, all generations, uh, including the gift of speaking in tongues and including the uh, the gift of uh, you know prophesying and uh, and healing people and, and all of that, the whole package. Um, it's interesting because I, I speak in a variety of churches today, and the churches that I speak in are both non-charismatic and charismatic. And I get along with everybody, Bill. <laughs> I really do. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, though, what I find fascinating is that even when I speak in churches that are, that are charismatic, I don't think that there's hardly a single time I can think of where I ever actually heard anybody speaking in tongues mm. at charismatic churches. I find that very, very interesting. I think that one of the things that you're going to want to guard against, though, and this is just as a as a caution, is to guard against the idea that if you if you're a person who hasn't spoken in tongues, that somehow you're lesser or less gifted or maybe not as spiritual as a person who has spoken in tongues. And there's also the extreme view which says that if you haven't spoken in tongues, then you're not saved, because the key evidence of having the Holy Spirit is speaking in tongues. That's what some people believe. And so my position on that would be that that's just not correct. In fact, the Apostle Paul himself said in 1 Corinthians, he said to the Corinthians, I wish that you could all speak in an unknown tongue like I do, but you do not. And yet Paul said that that same bunch of Corinthians were saved and had been baptized in the Spirit. <clears throat> so what that means is, is that being baptized into the Spirit and being baptized into the body of Christ does not necessitate speaking in tongues. And so to me, that's the greater issue than simply the issue as to whether or not you believe the gifts are existent for today. The, the greater issue is the damage that it can do to a, a human being, another Christian, who is told that they're not spiritual or maybe not even saved if they have not spoken in tongues. You see, that's, a, that's an extreme position, and it has no basis in Scripture. Mm. 